here we go. Welcome back, Revolt family, for another workout of the day. Uh, it is Sunday, my friends. It's always on Sunday. You want to keep moving. It isn't a, a rest day, but if you can be active, that's better uh, than just kind of sitting on the couch all day. There's nothing wrong with sitting on the couch all day, but try and move a little bit if you can. Today's workout of the day is Little Giants. We're going to go ahead and do five sets or five rounds of this. You're going to go ahead and do 10 double dumbbell Romanian deadlifts, 15 plank ups, 20 weighted glute bridges, 25 ab mat sit-ups. If you don't have an ab mat, no big deal. Grab either a yoga mat uh, or a towel, fold it on itself a few times, and you're gonna kind of put it in the low part of your back, kind of help support that lumbar curve when you're doing those. And then you're gonna rest for one minute. So after each set that you do, you will have one minute of rest. As always, you want to make sure to get a good warm up going, guys. You know, get the heart rate up, break a sweat before you hit the workout. Today's warm up, we're going to go ahead and do 30 seconds of each of these movements. The first thing that we're going to do is glute bridges. I'm always thinking about bringing my heels as close to my butt as I can or underneath my knees. From here, Coach Kat's going to go ahead and squeeze your glutes, drive her hips up, and then come back down. And she's going to do this for 30 seconds, guys. Once she does that for 30 seconds, now she's going to do single leg glute bridges, 15 seconds each. So first thing, she's going to kick out that leg. She's pointing that toe. Same concept. I squeeze my glutes, drive my hips up. I'm going to do one side for 15 seconds, and then we'll go ahead and do the other side for 15 seconds. Once you do either side for 15 seconds, now we're going to go ahead and do flutter kicks for 15 seconds. With the flutter kicks, you can have your hands in a couple of places, down by your side, out to the sides, maybe up of a... Uh, your head as if you were doing like a hollow hold, any place is fine, but from here I'm going to squeeze my core, bring my feet off, and I'm just going to go ahead and flutter those uh, legs just like Coach Cat is doing here. That's going to be your flutter kicks, again, for 30 seconds. Once she does that for 30 seconds, now she's going to go ahead and roll over onto her stomach. And we're going to be in a push-up plank position. She's going to squeeze her glutes, squeeze the core, squeeze the quads. And from here, she's just going to transfer her weight to, say, the right-hand side, and then bring her left hand and touch her shoulder, and then just reverse to the other side. And this movement is all about control. Take your time. Go slow. You want to work on learning how to be able to control your weight, transfer it to one arm, touch that opposite shoulder, and then come back to the other side. This is a great drill if you're trying to get better at handstand walks. Do this. Once you feel pretty comfortable with this, if you want to go ahead and kick up against the wall and do exactly the same thing, transfer the weight to one side, touch one shoulder, transfer the weight to the other side, touch the other, other shoulder. That is fantastic practice for handstand walks. Once you do that, now we're going to go ahead and do down dog for 30 seconds. So she's going to get back into that plank position, press into the ground actively with her shoulders, and really drive her hips up like you're seeing there. And then from there, she's just going to go ahead and press her heels down into the ground. Once you do that for 30 seconds, guys, the next thing that we're going to be doing is a down dog with a push-up. So we're going to go ahead and do a push-up first, elbows nice and tight to the body. And then same thing, I'm going to drive my shoulders or drive into the ground with my shoulders, bring my hips up, come back down, do another push-up like Coach Cat is doing, and then back up again, guys. And you're going to go ahead and do that for 30 seconds. If you want to maybe do this two, three times, kind of feel your body. See how, how it is that you're feeling. Maybe you're a little bit sore from all the workouts this week. If you are, maybe hit it a few more times, do a little bit more stretching. If you feel good, you're ready to rock and roll, then go ahead and, as always, make sure hit the workout hard. Put your score into Wattify. Take a picture, post it on social media, and let us know how it is that you guys are doing. Again, we're back open for business. Check us out at revoltfitness.net. See you guys tomorrow.